This is the Riptide, the most expensive boat in Mad City, which costs 1.7 million. And today, I'm going to be comparing it to the Marauder, which costs 1.5 million, the Hydra, which is 500,000, and many more, starting off with the default boat. Here it is right here, the classic, the basic boat for zero money in the game. You don't have to spend anything. In fact, you even get this for free. You can spawn it free in the phone. It's one of the free vehicles that you get for absolutely free, located right outside the prison on the docks next to two of the other vehicles right here, which we will be getting onto later on in the video. Normally you'd only use this boat if it's the only boat that you have, or if you're in a hurry and you're trying to escape from a police who's trying to arrest you literally after you've escaped the prison. And that's because of how slow it is, like literally I don't really see a point in using this unless it's the only boat you actually have access to. There's not much to say about this boat and even if I went to the shop and then tried to customise it, there's not really much you can do. You can add horn sounds, ornaments and skins, there's not too much you can do about this boat, so we're gonna move on. But that's not the only boat that costs zero dollars, if I just go ahead and do slash VH Galleon, this right here is the galleon which probably a lot of you know about and if you don't it's basically an admin vehicle which literally no one can use if i go ahead go up here it literally says vehicle not viable no one can use it which is a shame because this honestly looks amazing i would love to be able to use this in the game but i can't so we're just gonna move on but luckily we don't have to go too far all we have to do is go back to the docks that we were at originally for the next boat which is right here the jet ski for fifty thousand cash this is actually one of the more popular boats in the game i see a lot of people actually using this probably because it's the cheapest and to be honest it doesn't actually actually go that slow, it's pretty quick. Yes, this thing is like double the speed of the classic boat, but what you do have to take into consideration here is the health is actually halved here. Although I do still think that this is actually good, because who's actually going to get into boat wars, really? Like, no one uses boats. As for customization, it's pretty much the same, the skins, the ornaments, and the horn sounds. There's nothing changed there. The only thing that's really changed between this is obviously the looks, which it looks a lot better. It's obviously got half the amount of health, and it's also way quicker. For the next boat, we literally have to go to the other side of the map, to the other dock, which is right here. And that's where we'll find the next boat the Bulldog for $250,000. This one I'm pretty sure was added in alongside of Chapter 2, and I'm not even gonna lie, it didn't even know it existed. I rarely see people using this one, although, to be honest, I rarely look at the vehicles that people use, especially when it comes to boats. This is, by far, the boat with the most amount of seats. You've got the driver's seat, you've got two passenger seats in the back, and two in the front, making five seats in total. All right, here we go, let's test this out for the first time. Never had this vehicle before, literally just bought it. The speed, it seems to be going just about faster than the jet ski it looks like which makes sense because if this thing's like five times the amount of money you'd hope it would the design of this boat is actually pretty cool i don't know why i've never bought it before but i just never got around to it again you can fit up to five people on this boat including the person that's actually driving it which is really cool actually also pay attention to the health down here it's actually got double the amount that the boat has with 800 health which is of course by far the most amount of health that a boat has had so far also, for customization, there's also a few more things. Obviously, we have skins, ornaments, and horn sounds, but we also have spoiler colors, which I don't know what you're supposed to be coloring the spoiler for when there is no spoiler, but there's also toppers as well, which is cool. This right here is the Hydro for $500,000 in the game, and as you can see, it's got a few seats, but it doesn't actually compare with the Bulldog, which we were just in. This one has four, whereas the Bulldog had five. This boat has 400 health, which is half of the amount that the Bulldog did, and the exact same amount as the classic boat does. This is definitely the most popular boat that I see and it's literally the only one that I actually use. That's because this used to be the fastest boat in the game but that was recently overtook by the most expensive one which we will be getting onto later on. And this is where things start to get a little bit expensive with the Marauder, which is 1.5 million cash. Yet another boat which I've never actually bought, which I mean makes sense because it is 1.5 million. Is it worth it? Let's find out. This boat is by far the biggest boat in that city, and it's also the boat that has by far the most amount of health, with 1,200 health. It's also got a turret at the top which you can control whilst you're driving it as you can see. For those who want to know, this turret actually does 30 damage to players per hit and 90 to other vehicles, which is actually pretty cool considering that this is the only boat in the game right now that has an actual gun on it. It also has 5 seats, 2 in the back, 2 in the front and then obviously the driver, just like the Bulldog does. However, this vehicle does go quite slow, but that's obviously because it's got so many seats and also it's literally got a gun on it, so it makes sense. And if you thought this one was expensive, wait until you see the final vehicle, a Riptide for $1.7 million, another one which I've not actually bought yet. 
Design wise, this is definitely the best. Honestly, it looks so cool. Also, it has 450 health, which is slightly better than the default bow and the hydro. Seating wise, this is actually worse than the classic bow. As you can see, this has only got two compared to literally the free bow, which is three seats. But the one thing that sells this vehicle is the speed of this. I mean, look at how quick this goes. If you want to be the first one to beat the boat heist, this is definitely the boat to get the Riptide right here. One thing to note is that this vehicle actually used to cost 1.75 million but it's actually reduced by to 1.7 because it was actually supposed to have a boost on this making it obviously even quicker but it doesn't so for now it's just 1.7 million i'm not sure if the boost will ever actually make its way to this vehicle um or if they're just gonna scrap it entirely because i mean even without it it still goes like, insanely quick in this video we have gone from a default boat all the way up to the most expensive boat in the game let me know which your favorite one is in the comment section as we literally pass the boat that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed subscribe